Lately I've been, I've been losing sleep Thinking about the things that we could be Lately I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Yeah, we'll be counting stars I see this life like a swinging vine Swing my heart across the line And my face is flashing signs Seek it out and you shall find old But I'm not that old young But I'm not that bold And I don't think the world's been sold I'm just doing what I've been told I feel something so right By doing the wrong thing And I feel something so wrong by doing the right thing I couldn't lie, couldn't lie, couldn't lie Everything that kills me makes me feel alive I've been, I've been losing sleep Dreaming about the things that we could be Lately I've been, I've been praying hard Said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars Hi guys, this is how to play Counting Stars by One Republic. Um, we've got a bar of each chord in this song with a capo on fourth frets. We're starting with an open chord, A minor chord, C major, G major, and then any way how you're comfortable playing an F chord. Preferably your full bar chord, though we've got the easier F major 7, F like a C for my students. Um, and for the start of this, let's just strum it through once per chord, just so you get a feel for the song, because we've got a few options with your, your picking in this one or your strumming. A minor, just one strum per chord. One, two, three, four. A minor and a C and a G and an F chord. A minor and a C and a G. And an F. One strum per beat, same chord sequence in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Same again, A minor. A C chord. A G. And an F. One more time. A minor. And a C. And a G and an F. Lovely. And if you're uh, really new to your F bar chord or anything like that, or new to different strumming patterns, play along to the song with just those strums on the beat. It will sound fine and you'll get used to joining into the record, which is something that I really advise for beginners. If you would like, we can, uh, we're now going to be looking at the proper strumming patterns or the picking patterns that are used in this song. Okay guys, so here we are for your close-up for the intro. Um, we're keeping your thumb on the thicker three strings and we're plucking strings one, two and three with fingers one, two and three all together as one. If you just want to demo the pattern on the A minor chord for me, please Dave. I just do it once for that one chord. Um, and do for, that's the pattern that we repeat twice to for it to last one bar, so make it last one bar now. Um, we're starting your thumb on string 5 because that's the root note of this A minor chord with our capo at 4th fret. And uh, just demo that one more time, 5, 4, pluck, string 4. Five, four, pluck, four. Exactly the same pattern on the C chord. Five, four, pluck, 
four, five, four, pluck, four. G major chord, we strict to a uh, swap to a six string root note, and we go six, five, pluck, five. That one more time. And then the same pattern as that on your F chord. And if we put each of those together from the top in three and four and. C. G. F. And that's your intro. If you want it slightly easier than that, you can just do pluck, pluck, strum, or uh, just three plucks and miss out that last one, which just make it a little bit um, harder. Just give that one a go, Dave. Or if you're going for a pick, that's what you'd want to be doing, just picking those strings that we're using with the finger style. But I think some people will really dig this, and uh, it's the way we're going to get the sound of the record. So to a slow count, just through that picking pattern, uh, from your A minor, we are going to be changing through this whole chord sequence, but we're going to go nice and slow for you guys. From your A minor, in one and two and three and four and pluck, pluck, to a C chord, G, and F. Quick change there, A minor. C chord, G chord, and your F bar chord. It's going to be really tough to get all six strings ringing out on your F bar chord, but if you're wanting to attempt that um, picking pattern, really recommend that you go for the, the F bar chord there. Um, it's, it's the best one to go for, otherwise we're not going to have enough strings with that easier kind of F major 7 one. Um, Okie dokie, picking pattern for the rest of the song essentially, and that same um, chord sequence does continue for the vast majority of the song. We're going to go with root note and then pluck in your first three things, kind of to a, a pattern of one and two and three and four and, similar to the folk strumming pattern that we've done before, the Bob Dylan style, but I'm really advocating going for some finger style on this one and using your fingertips. Um, we'll be doing more beginners lessons on kind of the fundamentals of, of this style first, but I'm just showing you a song that uses it, which makes you hopefully want to pursue this kind of style. Uh, so from your A minor, from when the song kind of starts with the drums and everything, we're wanting thumb on the root note, alternated with your first three fingers, a tad faster, one and two and three and four and. Give us a demo, Dave, just one bar on the A minor. That's the one. Um, they've mentioned earlier, it kind of has the feel of Hey There Delilah, doesn't it? Playing white tees. If you dig that sort of style, and this is something that you'll, you'll want to look into as a, uh, a guitar playing technique. Again, the root notes are, because we're playing the same chord, we've got the same root notes as before, but we're just playing that root note. So string five on an A minor and a C chord, and string six for a G and your F chord, and then keeping your first three fingers on the same top three strings. So thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, alternate, alternating, and your thumbs counting the beat. So it's to a count of three, and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three four one two three four one two three four notice that dave's anchoring his little finger on the scratch plate of this acoustic guitar um really common for acoustic guitar finger picking really recommend doing that um, and 
just be aware of those root notes. It's not going to sound terrible if you don't actually hit the root note. You just want, don't want to hit a note that's not in the chord. So don't hit string six on your A minor chord, for example. Um, a bit more up to tempo, Dave, just as an example. Notice now when we're speeding up especially that Dave is keeping his first, all, all his fingers totally still and his thumb fairly still and just kind of rocking his arm. If we have a bit of a close up just on the, uh, the strumming hand, give us an example of that again Dave. Hand totally still. And we have this rocking motion in, in play. That's the way that you're going to get this more up to the tempo of the record and kind of get more comfortable with, with finger picking in general, especially with these kind of rocking patterns. Now let's go for one bar of each of those chords, uh, which is going to be the full chord sequence, nice and slow, about the same tempo, um, but we're going to be going through each of your chords. From your A minor chord, in one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and C and G and F <coughs> A minor and C G and F one more time A minor and C, G, and F. And the only time your chord sequence varies from that is you stay on an F chord all the way through, I could and lie, could and lie, could and lie, high, and then just one strum for everything, um, for the, just the part just before the chorus. Um, there's lots of other options that you can try if the finger style idea isn't for you. Um, Dave started off by using the strumming pattern that we covered in Get Lucky in the last lesson that we, uh, that we uploaded. Um, any, any thoughts from your point of view, Dave? Because you're not very comfortable doing finger style, are you? It's not your kind of natural, it's not your thing. Yeah, I think it's harder to keep the timing <coughs> up because obviously there's no kind of... Mm -hmm. Go in with your hand, you just kind of have to be quite tight with the timing. Mm -hmm. But I did find it easier to do kind of a strumming, and also depending on kind of if you're going to play for anyone else, if the singing's quite loud, it might be uh, not really loud enough just on an acoustic, just be picking rather than getting a bit of a loud. See that sometimes at open mic night, sometimes it's, it's great to hear someone doing some finger picking, but if you just can't hear the person playing, it's, it's kind of a shame. So if you're not mic'd up or anything, it is nice for that volume change to use a pick. Um, what picking suggestions do you have for a, for a swimming pattern? Well, there's two that we, we tried earlier when we were practicing this song. One is the one that we didn't get lucky, which is the... I've been losing sleep, thinking about the things that we could be. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. It'll be on the website, check out the link. Um, other thoughts on your strumming part? I mean, for the intro, for example, pick, pick, yeah, strum, pick, pick, five, strum's four. Easy. Again, from the root notes, which is the lowest note of any chord that you want heard, otherwise known as a bass note. Um, and then just even just eighth down strums on on the um, one and two and three and four for for when the song gets going would be my suggestion. So A minor, one and two and three and four and C and two and three and four and one and two and three. That would be my uh, kind of get out of jail chord sequence if I was struggling. I'd I'd be going for that one. Um, but the finger style is the, is the way that uh, One Republic do this song live. It's there on the record as well, and I really want it to be something that you guys have tried because I haven't done many finger style uh, videos. Thanks for checking out this song, that's how to play it. Um, check out the, other, the rest of the beginners course on my website. Um, check, please subscribe if you've liked this particular video and give us a like. And uh, thanks for checking us out, I'm sure we'll see you again.